न्यूयॉर्क टाइम्स प्रोब अनअर्थ लिंक बिटवीन चाइनीज प्रोपरगैंडा इन इंडिया एंड अब्रॉड to millionaire i'll just read out a little excerpt because you know i was just going through this and it seems like it's it's really interesting varghese uh, do pay some attention uh, new york times investigation has lifted the lid off what the us daily calls a lavishly funded influence campaign that defends china and pushes its propaganda across the world and that has linkages even in india according to new york times at the heart of this campaign is a charismatic american millionaire Neville Roy Singham who is known as socialist benefactor of far left causes the investigation shows how from a think tank in Massachusetts to an event space in Manhattan from a political party in South Africa to news organizations in India and Brazil Singham is working closely with the Chinese government and financing its propaganda worldwide The US Daily said speculations about Singham first emerged on Twitter among self-described anti-fascists They were followed by reports in publications such as New Lines and the South African investigative outlet Ama Bhungne. The Daily said authorities in India raided a news organization tied to Singham, accusing it of having ties to the Chinese government. In New Delhi, corporate fillings show Mr. Singham's network financed a new site, News Click, that sprinkled its coverage with Chinese government talking points. China's history continues to inspire the working classes. One on in you know. says one particular video times of india had earlier reported that indian agencies were investigating links between singham and news click as well but right now this is a nyt probe that has also seconded what uh, i think the times of india was trying to probe it's in america abroad uh, you know a billion millionaire in uh, from new york that is at the center of all of this mr uh, singham you know what, uh, the way propaganda has been put out has changed you, we have seen how media is also changing when it comes to digital we are in digital and you're mm. talking about a lot of influencers now th- there's a big question being asked as to how influencers are being used as a propaganda tool when it comes to powerful <coughs> foreign governments because they tend to insert a certain explanation because everybody is so influenced about it to make that quite uh, important judgment it has become very difficult right now and when it comes to this person kabir especially when you talk about millionaires who have access to money who can travel who can in fact facilitate propaganda it is a thing and china has been exploring before it used to be direct you know call from the foreign office of china which says mm. it agrees mm. it doesn't agree and then it's used to spit out its uh, propaganda and people know its propaganda content coming in the global uh, times as it puts out but now it has become very subtle it is trying to buy influence in media houses it's buying influence among influencers and of course you have fronts like uh, this uh, singham's organization that tends to fall in that category where they try to propagate mm. these ideas so these people are becoming fronts and they are very w- valuable assets when it comes to instigating as well as ensuring information war or what we call as propaganda